Randy, do you feel that um, uh, I'm not even sure uh, remote viewing or astral projection, mm -hmm. um, the still the basic step for those other disciplines would be a um, a meditative practice and then you build on top of that as a type of directed meditation or how does it work in the psionics uh training program sure uh that's pretty much just laid out in the curriculum the, mm -hmm. the way that we have thought about and laid out the curriculum and like this should be step one this should be what immediately follows that step. This is what should be immediately follows step two, step three, et cetera. And so I'm, I'm proud that we've really, 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 really put a lot of time and energy and thinking mm -hmm. into the curriculum, mm -hmm. which isn't just let's throw a bunch of information at people, but let's, let's really think what is the order of learning, action, and doing that is easiest and best to translate uh, and transmit that information to people so that it's the easiest for them to replicate and do. So that's all kind of baked into the curriculum, which is um, we start with the most basic everything, which is what's happening with your brain and your brain waves in meditative states, because the fundamental basis of all psionic development and self-mastery is meditation. And then, yeah, we just basically start stacking one mm -hmm. thing, Mm -hmm. After another, on top of that, I, I kind of always do this thing with my hands where it's like you're starting with this little tiny ball and then you're stacking all these other things. And by the time you're done, you've got this orb that's got all these layers of things to it that's way amazing. Mm -hmm. But it starts out as this very simple, you know, seed, core, nut, whatever in the middle that is very basic and super simplified and you're just adding all the time. And so that's really about adding on top of meditation, uh, you have a mind body experience, you have an energy system, you have a psionic foci. How do you manage that? How do you clear that so that you can, because clarity turns out to be like the next most important thing, right? Mm -hmm. Is keeping your system clear, your thoughts clear, your channels clear so that the information that's coming in and out is also clear. Uh, psionic self-defense becomes a huge mm. next step so that you mm -hmm. can keep that shit out mm -hmm. as well as keeping your shit in because it's very rude and impolite to go putting your thoughts and emotions into other people's personal spaces mm -hmm. and it's very rude for them to be doing the same so we set space so that you can keep that out that's a significant step and then you can start to do things that like that's just the very basic so that you can actually do some stuff. Yeah. And then you start saying, okay, let's introduce something really simple. Let's introduce a simple meditation or a simple part of meditation into the other full meditation or a simple affirmation or a simple practice that adds on top of that and adds on top of that and adds on top of that. And by the time we're at the advanced course, it's a bunch of stuff. And when we actually get to psionic skill development, it's like, okay, which is the very last thing that we do in the advanced course. Like mm -hmm. every, everything we do in the beginning course and the advanced course is to get to one final point in the curriculum, which is the ability to teach people the actual skills and disciplines for psionic development. Mm -hmm. That's, that's where the, that's where the real meat potatoes, you know food in the whole course really is but you gotta know everything else you have to because if you don't you're starting with the skill development without any of the understanding of where you have to build 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 mm -hmm. build 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 to do those skills so you i could teach those skills right away i could teach you those skills right away i could teach a room full of full of those people those skills right away but without teaching them all the fundamentals hammering on the fundamentals mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. getting them to do the fundamentals for days weeks and even months at a time what's the point right they're basically going to get to the skill building part and they're going to go i can't do it i can't replicate it uh, you suck you're a shitty teacher and i'm like no that's what happens if i give you the end without giving you the yeah. beginning and the yeah. middle and all the stuff yeah. that you need so that you can actually make that end product work yeah so it's all baked into the curriculum and that's just about getting from point A to point B to point C to the end where we finally can say, okay, here's the simple, 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 like psionic skill development of these very specific skills. But now that you know all the building blocks, 
that go into that. You spend some time working on your brain and your meditation so that your brain's a little stronger, your scions per second are a little higher output, so these skills become more doable. And when they're more doable, you have more success. And when you have more success, your brain goes, oh, I can do this. Mm -hmm. And then you progress along a path of self-mastery. If you get to that point and you go, oh, I can't do it. This sucks. You're off the path. Well, let me put it this way. As far as I understand, you set a person on the path. That's the first major juncture that's either going to keep them on the path or knock them off the path forever. Mm -hmm. Is that first Mm -hmm. success or fail? Mm-hmm. of something like a real skill, a real mm-hmm. skill test. Mm-hmm. I want students, I want all of our students to have the maximum potential of success at that skill building when they get to that part. So there's a maximum percentage that have a success pattern from that and don't drop off the path and keep it as a part of their pr- daily practice so that they can become just whatever it means for them to be a better person, mm-hmm. a better, smarter, stronger, faster thinking person. Yeah. Well, so it would be a little bit like playing full contact football without any kind of padding or anything uh, for people who have not really done the work, done the basic work and and which is is a protection. I mean, as you say, you can't just jump in there and do the advanced stuff without that basic that basic uh, thing going on. And I, I.